Hey, Shalom, brethren. Brakathai Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, I want to first say Brakathai Yahweh, Brakathai Yahweh Shai. Brakathai Yahweh, Brakathai Yahweh Shai. The water. Yahweh Bashim. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> I want to say the water. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For another day to push his prophecies, to do his will. All right, another day closer to. Another day closer to the destruction of our enemy Esau. You know them as so-called white people. All right, the Edomites. All right, because they have a total grip on this world right now. And we're living in a time now where the Lord is what? Loosening that grip, pulling his ass off. All right. So now the show I'm gonna do today through the spirit of the Lord, all right, is based off of a show I watched um, the, brothers, the brothers in Jamaica the name of their channel is um, in all caps GMS Port Antonio Portland Jamaica so everything is in space so it's um, GMS all caps okay it's GMS space Port space Antonio space Portland space Jamaica alright so them brothers was going I was watching a show they did either yesterday or a couple days ago and um, a little sit down they had, they were going into the fact that over there in Jamaica, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing maybe other Caribbean islands, but in specific Jamaica, they're looking to get reparations from the British government, all right? First of all, you so-called Jamaicans, all right? You are the Israelites in the Bible, all right? You come from the tribe of Benjamin. And the one who you call God, all right? A lot of y'all claim that you believe in God, I believe in Although y'all, you, you're all bugged out in the God you worship, because the ones of you, the ones of you that say you believe in God, you either wor worship the one who you think is God, by way of Christianity, which Ro Roman Catholicism is in that, all right, or by way of Rastafarianism, worshiping some fucking coolie named Ja Rastafari, all right, <laughs> which. You're bugged out for that, man, because first of all, the Lord ain't dealing with no East Indian coolies. And for argument's sake, he ain't dealing with the Ethiopians, all right? The Lord is dealing with the children of Israel. And the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Those people in Ethiopia and different African regions, the people that are naturally of those places are Hamites. The Lord never made a pact. The Lord never made an agreement with the children of Ham. All right. The agreement went through who? Shem, down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Boom yakashak. All right. That was that. So anyway, um, the Lord ain't dealing with no. Cause a lot of you people, y'all, you're looking for the so-called white man, whether you be here in America or in the islands, looking for him to give you reparations for for slavery. First of all, I got a question, man. How much money do you think it's worth? I'm wondering for hundreds of years when I say hundreds of years I'm going back from the 1500s all the way to the present day all the brutalization this devil has done to us castration murdering raping stealing all right destroying all of this shit has been going on for the past damn near 500 years all right how much what's the dollar amount you think is that's worth I'm wondering and furthermore Let's say this devil was to give you some money. First of all, his money ain't worth shit. <laughs> the FRNs here in America, and when I say here in America, you know in the islands it's even worse. Because over there in Jamaica, one dollar here is $145 over there. And you already know the American dollar ain't worth shit. So there you go. There you have it. And, you, oh, and oh, okay, in Jamaica, they're going to get the, the British pound. How much pounds do you think it's worth for all that, all those years of hardship, man? All right. You know what it is, man? The majority of our people, which are the two thirds, they got their heads jammed way up in their asses and they're being led by a bunch of bozos. All right. Your true leaders are the prophets of the heavenly father of the nation of Israel, man. So anyway, um, first of all, the Lord said the Lord didn't tell us that we're going to get payback, but the payback we're going to get is not what you think it is. All right. So I'm going to read a few scriptures to show you the kind of payback we're going to get according to the Bible, man. And again, 
you so-called Jamaicans, you West Indians, you are you make up one of the tribes of the nation of Israel, God's chosen nation, whether you know it or not. All right. So the first scripture I'm gonna get to start it all off, man, I'm gonna get Daniel seven and eighteen. Bear with me while I get it. Cause you people, man, I got your heads up in your asses. And and another thing too, you all right? Let's say the devil wants to give you that money, whatever whatever amount it is. So that means he's gonna keep ruling in his wickedness. We're gonna we're gonna continue to live in a cesspool. All right. He's he's gonna to he's gonna continue to have his foot in your neck. All right. Because I don't know if they didn't tell you, but you're still in slavery. Slavery didn't stop. Matter of fact, there's even a reggae song. I forgot who sings it, man. It said, basically the song says, um, they re they removed the chains, but they still got your brains. I ain't, I ain't saying it per um, perfect, but it's something that go like that. It says, they, they removed the chains, but they still got your brains, all right? In other words, you still in slavery. It's worse now because you don't think, it's worse now because you're not even, you don't even know that you're still in slavery. That's scary. So this is Daniel um, 7 and 18. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So we're going to get everything, man. We're going to, first of all, we're going to be ruling with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right? who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, who was a black man, all right? We're gonna take the kingdom. In other words, all the other nations, the so-called white men, the, the Chinese, the East Indians, the Arabs, list goes on. They're gonna be our slaves, and we're gonna be the ruling classes, man. That's the payback we're gonna get. We're gonna rule, not no effing few dollars to put in your pocket, all right? To shut, to shut you the fuck up. That's basically what reparations is, man. Bullshit. So the Lord said, we're going to take the kingdom, man. Put that in your brain. Think about that. Taking the kingdom. Because right now, who has the kingdom right now? The so-called white man. And we're going to take it through the spirit of the Lord. I'm reading it right here. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess it, possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever so one might ask well who are the saints i wonder who the saints are because you a lot of you people you blacks you latinos y'all believe you believe when you picture saints you picture white guys wearing wearing um like you picture white guys like like the pope like your roman catholic priests all right so you picture white guys as being the saints so let's find out who the saints really are I'm going to get one, uh, Psalms 148 and 14. This is Psalms 148. Psalms 148 and 15. It says, Salakia. Not 15, Salakia, brothers. This is Psalms 148. I'm going to start at 13 on down. Psalms 148 and 13. It says, let them praise the name of the Lord. And knowing the name of the Lord is very important. All right. The one who you call God, his name is Yahweh. His son, the savior, the one that's going to deliver us from this hellhole that we're in, from the clutches of our enemy, the so-called white man. His name is Yahweh Shai. His name is not Jesus Christ. There is no J sound in the Hebrew. And for that matter, there's no A sound in the Hebrew either. Because a lot of y'all might say his name is Yahweh. There's no A sound in the Hebrew. All right? The only vowels you hear in the Hebrew is Ah and I. Okay? Not no A, E, I, O, U and sometimes Y. None of that bullshit. No. It's Ah or I. Those are the... Those, those are the... Those are the um, that's what you will hear in the Hebrew. It says, the only vowels. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord 
for his name alone is excellent. That's right. That's what we pray to. Yeah, the scriptures tell you that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Especially the times that we're coming in now, because as you can see, things are closing in. They are they are steadily here in America, they are steadily taking away your rights. Or, or what rights you think you had. They're letting you know that you don't have them. Alright, that freedom of speech is going down the toilet. That's why real soon all this media is gonna be they're gonna take it all down. And all they're doing is fulfilling prophecy. Because it is prophesied that a time called Jacob's trouble was gonna come. And Jacob are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright, because Jacob is our forefather. His name was changed to Israel. He had 12 sons, which became what? The 12 tribes of Israel. Who you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are descended from. Alright? It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Right, the so-called white man thinks his glory is above earth and heaven. But he's fooled. That's why in um, Obadiah, the first verse, it tells you what? From the first verse on down, it tells you what? The pride of Esau's heart has deceived him. So all he's doing is fooling himself. By way of what? By way of his pride. It says, verse 14, this is... um. Psalms 148 and 14 He also exalted The horn of his people Wait a minute I thought everybody on the earth Are the Lord's people They taught me from when I was born Through my, my mother Pastors And people that you know in the world They all tell you that what God loves everybody Which is total bullshit Because the Bible, the Bible don't tell you that He doesn't love everybody he has one specific people that he loves. And he always has. And he never changed his mind on that, man. Matter of fact, bear with me one second. I'm going to go right back there to Psalms. But give me one second. Being that I made that statement. This is um, Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. All right, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "Right, who did the Lord save out of the land, out of the land of Egypt? The Lord saved the nation of Israel out of the clutches of the Egyptians, going back three thousand years ago, right? And what did He do to the Egypt? What what did He do to the to the Egyptians? Did He tell the Did He tell the Egyptians, look, you guys have been naughty, all right? You should never have had the Israelites as slaves." But being that I love everybody, I'm going to excuse you. No, he destroyed their asses because he put his name on the nation of Israel and none else. Amos 3 and 1, it says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known. Of all the families of the earth. That sounds like racism. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. And that's why our people are in the condition that they're in. All right? That's why you got these so-called... Because, all right, over here, it's obvious here in America we're all under the so-called white man's clutches. We're under, the, we're under this devil's clutches no matter what country you live in around the planet. All right? Like over there in... Um, you got Cuba... They're over there um, uprising right now. Then you got, you got um, the 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 the, um, the Haitian president that just got shot a couple weeks ago, right? So what are the peoples of those lands doing? Are they coming with their own conclusions to how to fix things? No, they're looking for the USA, namely the so-called white man, to help them. And that right, that in itself shows we're still in slavery, man. They're looking for white daddy to save them and help them. All right, but the Lord has punished us. That's why we're in that predicament. That's why we're in a position where we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna depend on our enemy for the want of all things. That's in Deuteronomy. That's one of that's one of the curses. All right. It says here. Um, so the Lord said, "You, 
only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities because we turn our back on the heavenly father. We didn't follow his laws, statutes, and commandments. He promised that if we didn't do that and continued in our wickedness, he was going to allow the heathen, our enemies, to rule over us. And that's exactly what happened. That's why the slave trade took place. It didn't happen by chance. It happened because it was prophesied by the... There's nothing on this planet Earth that happens by chance, by the way. It's all orchestrated by the Heavenly Father. It says... Another, oh, and another point I wanted to make. Um, I was listening to the radio, this radio show while I was working. Um, I forgot who it was. It wasn't. It wasn't Mark Levin. It was one of them. One of them. One of them talking head idiots. Basically, when um, the assassination took place a couple of weeks ago, the day after, that was like the topic on all radio shows and all of that. So this one particular devil was talking about Haiti and how poor Haiti is and how is totally mismanaged and jacked up right so he so he says what i mean after all these i'm quoting what he said he says i mean after all these years why is it that haiti can't get it together man then he also said um i, I love going to mexico mexico is nice i love the food i love the culture but it's why they can't get it together either and i'm like dude which basically the reason why they all can't get it together is because they are the Israelites and the Lord punished us. The Lord punished us. So, so knowing that, even if um even if Malcolm X or um this dude Louis Farrell, all you know, them Muslims, they always talk about they tell the so-called white man to give us five states and let us run it. Let's say the so-called white man was like, okay, all right, here, I'll give you five states. And you guys just have the five states. You know what's going to happen? It's going to turn to Haiti. It's going to turn to Jamaica. It's going to turn to Cuba. It's going to turn to Mexico. Why? Because we're still under them curses. You know, we're still under them curses. So it says, so going back to Psalms 148, it says, He also exhorteth the horn of his people. And the word horn means what? power so who's going to exalt our power are we going to get power of ourselves hell no we're on the bottom man and we ain't got no damn power the only one that could exalt our power is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and I'm going to let y'all know something man we're very close to that time we are very close to that time alright it says he also exalted the horn of his people the praise of all his saints. So going back to Daniel's the seventh chapter and the eighteenth verse, who are who are the saints that's going to take the kingdom? We're going to find out now. It says he he also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. So who are the saints? The children of Israel, not no white guy. That's a pedophile undercover, a undercover, a undercover fag, a undercover pedophile. All right. It says it's talking about the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, starting with the elect of the of, of the nation. Because in case they didn't tell you, two thirds of our people are not going to make it out of this destruction that's to come. And I'm going to tell you, man, holy hell is on its way. It says even of the children of Israel a people near unto him praise ye the Lord alright so with that brothers I pray y'all were edified um, I had a few more precepts but because of time as a matter of fact I'll do, another, I'll do a part 2 to this in continuation so with that I'm going to say Yahweh much love to you brethren double honors to the apostles my elders and much love to all you brethren out there trusting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all I can say is keep trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai keep doing what we're supposed to do and just, just, just keep keep it moving man we're almost out of here